sister, the goat sisters are doing absolutely amazing. They're running around the yard now. One blue eye. And then one brown eye. It sucks, it sucks, but it's part of the ranch life, farm life. So our main goal right now is to save. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video here at The Ranch. Today, you guys, we have something that's very, very exciting, and we've been talking about it here on all our videos more regularly. The reason why is because all of our does are about to pop, and right here last night, our one of our does actually had two kids. And the cool thing about it is that this doe has one blue eye, one black eye. She is black and white. She looks like an Oreo, and she had two girl kids which is absolutely amazing. The reason why is because this girl, this doe, carries the fainting gene. So these two girls, 100%, will be living here on the ranch because I really love that fainting gene. Uh, she follows, falls over, her other daughter, back legs drop, and then these two, I'm not too sure what's gonna happen, but they are over 24 hours old now, and I'm gonna show you what these little kids look like. We are going to wait for this video. So today, right now, is January 4th. They were born January 3rd. So, I'm not gonna post this video until all of the kids are born, or at least two more does drop some kids, so that we have a nice little group of does to show you all. So let me show you these two little girls right here. Now that's the mother right there. She has one blue eye, and then, check it out. Hey, Missy. One blue eye, and then one brown eye. Pretty freaking awesome. Now let me show you these kids right here. adorable little kids their first poops have just happened so they have a bunch of little yellow stuff underneath there and then we have this other beautiful little try one right here both girls so which is really really awesome but look at them at look at them they're so adorable little kids and benny's over there checking them all out benny's like yo what's going on i know there's new kids here let me see them but yeah, they're right there. They're 24 hours old. We're going to let them be, let them do their thing. And we'll get back to you guys when they're a couple more days old. And I'm sure we are definitely going to have more kids coming soon. Everybody looks absolutely fat. They are about to pop. And we still need to get the blood test on Catalina. So everybody's going to be having kids in the next uh, couple weeks to a couple months. She has to have a kid. She has to have kids. She has to have kids. Um... She definitely needs to have kids. She's probably gonna have triplets. And then we have um, this girl right here that is very large. Very, very large. She's half fainting. Watch when I run after. That's it. Look, see? So the back leg stop. That's fainting for you. Pretty funny. She's gonna have some kids. So her kids are gonna be uh, saved as well. Hopefully they're girls because we only need girls to be kept. And uh, yeah, everyone's doing great. Let's uh, feed, even though you guys are not gonna see that. But uh, that's a good girl, Catalina. Very good girl. January 6th and the goat twins or the goat sisters are doing absolutely amazing. They're running around the yard now and starting to do all sorts of things. This is their safe zone inside of the barn. So when they see me or they see you craziness going on, they run as fast as they can and they run inside of here and they hide underneath this little shed that's right there. And, but yeah, there they are, they're doing good. Nobody else, um, nobody else has given birth yet, but I know it's definitely soon. So we will keep this video going until we get some more uh, kids on the ground. Who else would we have? we have? That one, that one, that one. Yeah, we have we have a ton more still that need to have uh, kids. So stay tuned and uh, be patient with me, and we'll wait until we have some more kids. I know people on my Instagram were like, "Hey, where are the kid videos?" Don't worry, they're coming soon. Coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. Yeah, these kids are doing great. Put it down in the comments, you guys, what we should name these two little girls right here. They are so cute. We got the black, white, and brown one, and then we got the brown and white one. Only both sisters 
and they will definitely be staying here on the ranch what is up everybody welcome back to another video here at the ranch we have a ton of construction going on here on the ranch for so many different projects and things for 2022 but another really cool amazing thing that is awesome to witness here on the ranch and something for the first time for kenya to see she's seen it with dogs she's seen it with other animals but she's never seen it with goats and we already had some kids drop and it was actually the mother of this <laughs> doe right here but this doe is her first time having kids and she is in the process of giving birth she is definitely having a lot of contractions right now she's in the shade and i told kenya if she lays all the way back that means that's a really big sign of a contract contraction and she's definitely having some so she's going back and forth back and forth she might go through it for a couple hours but i guarantee tonight she's gonna have some babies we'll have some kids the real way to say it. so i'm gonna flip the camera over and show you what we're seeing we're not gonna show you guys anything we're not gonna get too close but as you can see that right there is the mother of those kids all the way back there they're doing great they're about two weeks old now but right down there is a doe and she is in the process of giving birth let's see if we could get this on video of her leaning backwards on a real big sign of having babies coming soon so let's see if she gets it for us on camera i was looking at the wrong goat the entire time are you serious right now i was looking at that one over there scratching the back on the wood oh yeah no definitely not her it's this one that's in the shade in the grass right here. That's funny that you're looking at the wrong goat. Ready, ready, she's gonna lean back. When she does that lean back, that's a real big sign of contractions. And look, you wanna see something really funny? Look in the right next to him. We got a silky mom and a turkey mom taking care of one silky baby. Interesting, right? Uh-oh, look, 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 see the tail high up? She's getting, she's like, oh, I'm having weird issues right now. What is going on with me? We'll get back to you guys shortly and see what happens in the next hour. Hear a lot of noises right now. Placenta is out and she's pushing right now. We're gonna let her be. Once I see a body, I'll help her if she needs help. Right now she's pushing pretty hard. So here you go, hold that. Oh, got me. All right, push it out. All right, everybody knows there's something going on. Got myself two little towels because sometimes it can get very, very slippery. And it's not the funny. So the problem is right now, if I pop that bubble right now, that means that baby has to start breathing instantly. That's like the, the sack. So if I don't see a head and I can't pull the baby out to let it start breathing, it will die inside her stomach. You don't want that to happen. So she needs to push a little bit more. She just started. It's only been about 20 minutes or so. It's not a problem at all. I think stuff's coming out now. You'll see it. It's get one big push the first time. So there's a lot of uh, things that have to go on right now. But we'll keep on going. The guineas, the cranes, everybody is looking at her. Right now, the baby's still connected with the umbilical cord, so it's still breathing inside of her without a problem. You guys stay right there. It's coming out perfectly. It's head first, that's what you want, head first. If it's backwards, it's a freaking struggle, and sometimes the baby won't survive, but because it's coming head first, exactly what we wanted all right so unfortunately the baby goat did die it is stuck inside of her and we are in the process of trying to get it out right now um sucks the baby was definitely a little bit too big most likely it is a male she had one kid inside of her and it is pretty much bigger than the two kids that are born right now so that's a really really bad thing um sucks sucks but it's part of the ranch life farm life so our main goal right now is to save the dough i really want to make sure she survives so we're going to make sure everything happens correctly and we're going to get this kid out give her a little bit of vitamins and then go from there so we'll get back to you guys all righty well the mom is definitely in shock unfortunately but she is good she should make it she should be fine she'll relax and tomorrow morning she'll be back to normal the placenta should drop it might have already dropped i'm not too sure we'll see but she is definitely a little a little frightened um it was a male it was one goat and it was a big male it's literally the same size as the kids over here which is absolutely crazy so if your discretion is advised it was a gorgeous little goat but it's dead there's nothing i could do about it we'll bury it if um you know at, at the end of the day at least look at that sucks definitely a boy you guys can see right there gorgeous little baby goat but it died it has, you see the little wewitos, the balls and everything. 
but it sucks. Nothing I could do about it. That's the part of having a ranch, the farm life, all that stuff. The one that did breed her was Captain, and Captain, it was a very, very big goat. And stuff happens. As at, at least we're able to save her. We'll boost her back up. She's getting all the minerals and all the great food that everybody gets here. So she'll be able to pop back into place. Uh, as you guys saw with the video with the baby kids when they were born, they're doing absolutely great. The mom is doing great. That's actually the mom of her. And that would have been almost all related. But at least hopefully the mom will survive over the 24 hours. She's a little stressed. Like I said, we gave her a little bit of vitamins and all that. But she should bounce right back after a couple days. It sucks. But again, I want to show you guys everything that I go through every single day here on the ranch. There's different things. We've been telling you guys about kids who are going to be born. And sometimes they're not always able to survive. Things happen. There's Things happen all the time, just like the whole entire world. On the other side of the whole entire ranch, I don't know if you guys can see over there. We're in the process of a giant otter build right now. And I was missing a bunch of great spots. And you're going to see that in the video of that. I'm making three, four, five different videos at the same exact time here on the ranch right now. I am definitely all over the place. Um, whatever. Day by day, get it going. And uh, I appreciate all the support, you guys. It's going to be a short little video. Uh, I'll stay tuned. If you guys want me to uh, keep you guys updated with another video on uh, more kid goats here, hopefully we have better success for the, the future girls. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have five more does that still need to give birth. And we do have, unfortunately, one more doe that is very small. And she's a really favorite of mine. Um, hopefully she has a girl. This, hopefully it's a girl, not a boy. She's the same size as her. So it might be a boy. It might be a, we might be going through the same process as that. We'll keep you guys updated. If you guys would like me to put it down in the comments, if you guys want to see another goat video coming soon. Um, once again, subscribe, put the post notifications on you guys, and I will see you guys all later. Peace out, everybody, and stay tuned for the epic videos to come in 2022.